I put a lot of thought into that. And actually, um, I like the surprises it gives me every time I do work with people or I produce a really good piece of work. Um, the fact that it's different all the time and it's something that um, I've never fallen out of love with after 20 years. So I think that's the, the best thing I like about what I do is, is, is that I um, still really love it and enjoy every bit that I, um, everything that I get involved with is, is a joy. Actually, um, so we've been going for about over 20 years now. Um, it all started as um, I'm actually a business partner with my best friend and we went to school together. So we met um, in secondary school in the second year. Um, I'd been in care, so I'd been moving around a lot to different class, uh, different schools. And when I met my business partner, Madge, she'd also been moving around for different circumstances. So we kind of like gelled together as young people. Um, and we were all really experimental with our clothing, was really creative, and that carried on for years. Um, and coming out of care when I was 18, I was a bit lost and didn't know what I wanted to do. But I knew that I'd always been very creative. So moving on a few years, uh, me and Madge actually, um, because we're Camden girls, North London, so we would always, that's where we went to school, so we'd hang around there, the fashion, everything was amazing. So we decided, um, we opened a stall, our own market stall. And we did that in electric ballroom for a few years, then decided, right, we're gonna do our own fashion because we would sell old clothes at the beginning. And I thought, no, we're gonna do our own stuff. So then we started doing a little bit of screen printing and we screen printed our own t-shirts and sweatshirts and that went all right. Um, so then we went on to do um, actual pattern cutting. Magilet went to London College of Fashion. Um, I was self-taught. Um, and so I would design uh, what outfits I wanted and match with pattern cut them and we would make them first of all. Uh, some were screen printed and then some were like more classical clothes. And started doing all right. Started selling to independent boutiques um, around Europe. Um, we started to have, I think, three collections a year. So we'd do all the trade shows. Um, we actually managed to get our own workshop in um, Holloway, North London. And this went on for a good few years. Um, finally, we decided to open a retail shop, um, which was in Carnaby Street. And we were there for a couple of years, um, but unfortunately, um, I can't remember what year it was. We, we were doing all right, but um, there was a bit of a crash. And um, because we only ever got to do uh, sales independent, so we'd be in you know, Ireland, Italy, Japan, we'd get all sorts of places. Um, we got to travel a lot as well because of selling our items. Um, we ended up, um, people ended up losing their premises, so therefore it affected us. So we decided, what do we do? Where do we go from then? Do we end our careers or do we move on? Um, so we decided to uh, close down that side of the streetwear company and um, decided to turn our heads to um, interiors. So we started off designing wallpaper and interior products like cushions and stuff. So, and that's where we are today. Um, but also, um, I also sell artworks as well, so it's a long story. <laughs> Think really hard of what you like, like what you really do, and stick to what you do. Like the the trouble with uh, with us, I think if I so if I said it to my younger self. I would say um, stick to what you're good to. Don't try and please too many people. Don't try and fill too many gaps and, and, and um, do too many. If, if you are gonna be an artist or you are gonna be an interior designer or you are gonna be a graphic designer, stick to that. Don't be an artist and then say, I'll do a bit of graphic design. Don't be this and I'll do a bit of that because you're pleasing everyone and you're chasing the money. I would say stick to what you're good at and, and, and just prevail and it will pay off. And that's my advice.